Hey, it's the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire. Boxer Boxing. Now, man, you guys heard it, man. From my boy Canelo Alvarez, man. You guys can check the link in the description. It's by my boy Dante's Boxing Nation. And wild stuff, man. Canelo Alvarez, he's asked a question about uh, how does it feel to be undisputed. And he says it's good. I, I feel proud to be one of the six undisputed champions, man. You guys see the, the list right here, man. It has everyone but uh, Canelo Alvarez on this uh, undisputed list. Right, first undisputed champion with all four titles was Bernard Hopkins in 2004. Then it was Jermaine Taylor in 2005. Then it was the trendsetter, the one who started it all again in a new era, Terrence Bud Crawford, starring this undisputed uh, trend. Then it was Alexander Usyk, Josh Taylor, and currently uh, Canelo Alvarez. You know, really big deal stuff, man. You know, Canelo Alvarez. You know, this has been a good year for boxing. Two undisputed champions in one year. It could have been three. But we got a draw versus Castano versus Jamel Charlo. Um, that all being said, man, you know, T. T Fima Lopez was exposed, man, by Canelo Alvarez and Showtime. They did not give him the respect. He said they said that, listen, this guy is not undisputed. And they had a they had a list of all the undisputed champions. And they did not have T. Fima Lopez on the list. What does that tell you? Well, that tells you that franchise title is not a legitimate title and that no one's respecting it. The powers that be don't respect it. And Showtime and Canelo Alvarez doesn't respect or, or even acknowledge uh, T. Fima Lopez. Right in front of his face, you guys see the list, and all those names are on the list. Canelo should be on that list, and T. Fima Lopez isn't there because he's not undisputed. Wild stuff, you know. I understand that, you know, a lot of people are trying to prop up T. Fima Lopez as undisputed because they really didn't want to see him fight a Devin the Dream Haney. You know, they kept trying to lock him out, freeze him out of the conversation. You know, a Devin Dream Haney is the most ducked fighter at 135. The craziest stuff I've ever seen. Mandatories don't want to fight the guy. Um, he had two mandatories that did not want to fight him, right? Uh, and the Ryan Garcia, who was the first mandatory after he beat Liam, Liam Williams, Liam Walsh, I believe. Yeah, these, these Irish guys get so many Liams. And then um, Jojo Diaz, right? He is the, undis he is the current mandatory right now and he's gonna finally fight uh devin the dream haney but he was trying to fight ryan garcia first so these guys were doing everything in the power to get as many fights as possible before they fight the champion because they you know they didn't really care about being champion they care about getting a check because they basically know that their days are numbered and if they fight david haney their their chances of losing are high they're extremely high so that all being said man tf lopez had one good win against um uh Vasil Machenko, right he beat Kome that was a good fight for him you know he has some hard hitters on his record but understand you know after he became quote unquote uh unified and had all his titles he just fell off man he kept talking about how big he was and how much you know how many fans he got but the truth of the matter is you know Chief Lopez is not getting the kind of money that Devin the Dream Haney is getting Devin the Dream Haney has a bigger following he gets paid more and he's just a bigger dog than a Chief Lopez and all that all being said man you know t Fuma lopez was getting backing by being undisputed when he really wasn't and he got disrespected by canelo Alvarez, man hopefully this is a wake-up call for t Fuma lopez and he you know he gets these fights popping man you know he has a lot to do before calling himself undisputed understand that not only is you know it, this is one of the craziest divisions in boxing in my opinion the 135 division is a stacked division but it's understood that the best fighters don't all have quote unquote world titles you know javante tank davis has a wba regular title it's right beneath the uh, wba super title you know so i guess he can become mandatory for um for t from lopez but he was a former champion at 130 he had the ibf title and the wba super title so that all being said javante tank davis has been running around weight classes getting titles left and right so it's understood that javante tank davis is an elite level fighter right uh devin dream haney is a wbc champion and, and you can call like i said earlier outside of the champions there's fighters that people want to see team fimo lopez fight right i still want to see team fimo lopez fight uh, a fellow mexican rival or latino rival and ryan ryan garcia jojo diaz these are elite level fighters that people want to see you know that that's the vision that has to be really cleaned out first and that's a lot of work down there there's a lot of big fights there's no reason to really to go up to 140 because Josh Taylor basically be the undisputed 140 champion, clean that division out, right? There's just a lot, a lot of work to be done before he tries to move on, because honestly, the fighters at 135 are bigger than are in the bigger names at least than one, the 140 fighters. 
right? So this is a really big deal for a from Lopez, man. Hopefully he gets his mind right and these fights start getting made because now that there's a real Latino Mexican undefeated champion, they have no need for Teofimo Lopez and the charade of being undisputed. It's been cut short. It's just been cut short. So I'm glad that Showtime called him out. I'm glad that Canelo called him out because this guy Teofimo Lopez flew, you know, from wherever he was all the way to Vegas to bring, he brought his titles to just, you know, get a photo op with Canelo Alvarez talking about how he's undisputed like Canelo and Canelo didn't even acknowledge him. Crazy stuff, man, crazy stuff. Showtime didn't acknowledge him either. They showed the list, T.O. wasn't on there. Wild stuff, man. You know, the balls of T.O. Fima Lopez to go on stage and to think that a foreign promotion company, you know, T.O. Fima Lopez is not even with um, PBC or Showtime. He's not even with them. He's with, uh, top rank you know he's with top rank and you know wild stuff man the guy is not even with his promotion company and he thinks he's gonna get promotion off them you know for free wild stuff man that the, the guy is living in la la land he thinks he's gonna, <laughs> he thinks he's gonna, he's gonna take photos with a foreign champion in a in a in a foreign company canelo Alvarez knows his place man he got big checks over here with uncle al Heyman. al Heyman gave him this opportunity to become undisputed and canelo Alvarez is the first mexican undisputed champion of all time you know uh, you know if canelo Alvarez would have you know said tia was undisputed and, and played that game the, the repercussions for canelo Alvarez, you can only imagine him you can, you can only imagine him that all being said man we're gonna see what happens with tio's career you know um Top rank is the king of keeping fights in house and understand that that's only going to hurt Tio Fumo Lopez's uh, career because why he could say he's undisputed, you know, he's not getting paid like it. And, you know, he doesn't have the clout like that. You know, Devin and Jim Haney is extremely young. I think he's like 23, 24 years old. And the guy, you know, the sky's the limit for him, you know, because he has been being trained by Floyd Mayweather for a while. Yeah. Even when he was a kid right he has his own trainer of course but you know just the 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 accolades of the guy it was like a young prodigy and this guy has been dominating elite level fighters who dropped the guys he he beat right understand that Tio beat Lomachenko but he didn't like drop him or anything like that you know the, the ultimate win in boxing is stopping a guy team Fuma Lopez beat Lomachenko but he didn't like make him no monster or anything like that you know uh that the Jimmy Haney is completely dominating guys who dropped Vasil Lomachenko and, and um, Jose Pedraza. Wild stuff, man. So we're going to see how um, this whole thing plays out uh, with <sighs> Tia Fuma Lopez, man. Crazy stuff. I, I still can't believe he went on stage with uh, Canelo Alvarez talking I'm undisputed. And then got embarrassed. The wildest stuff I've seen in years, man. You know, maybe this will stop it in the sport of boxing with this all these titles. You know, the WBC has been known to uh, protect fighters and make whole show, sell titles to protect these guys. You know, so we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out with Tio Tio Fuma Lopez. You know, who do you guys want to see him fight next, man? Maybe he needs an all Mexican showdown. You know, the guy that um, my boy Javante Tank Davis is gonna fight is a is a monster of a fighter, man. A undefeated. Uh, Mexican superstar fighter. They call the guy Pitbull, man. The guy is a monster, man. If you guys don't know Isaac Cruz, <laughs> he's he's an animal, man. He's an animal. One of the better fighters at 135, undefeated. He's actually the number one fighter out of Mexico, for real. Because Tifan Lopez, you know, his father is Mexican, is and his mother's Honduras. So the guy's not really pure Mexican. You got straight guys straight from Mexico. Isaac Cruz is the best fighter. So everyone's mixing it up in the 135 division. Everyone's fighting everyone. Javante Tech Davis needs to fight a big dog. Now he has mandatories. He's gonna fight Gambosis next. But you know, Javante Tech Davis fighting the number one fighter out of Mexico, big deal. You know, Devin Dream Haney fighting his mandatory in uh Jojo Diaz. It's a long time coming. You know, Tio and, and Gambosis. That's a mandatory, so he's gonna have to get that out of the way, but he's gonna have to fight these big dogs soon. Uh, now, I did hear uh, Bob Aram talking about him fighting um, Javante. That's a big money fight. And if, you know, Tio's gonna take that L, you might as well have it done in the biggest payday possible. The biggest payday is most likely Javante, and then Devin Haney, in my opinion, because that's just more action packed. Somebody's getting stopped. Big facts. Let me know how you guys feel about Devin Haney getting dissed by Canelo Alvarez, wild stuff. Let me know how you guys feel about it though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobox Empire. Peace. Geobox Empire. Peace.